Sziasztok! This is Harkas Puppetry, I am H. Today it's only me. It's been a while. We were away for some reasons and for a while we've been promising to come back with multiple episodes of Puppeteers React, which just couldn't happen. Long story short, we've left Hungary around a month back. We've driven down the Bivap to Spain. Bivap is a van we converted a few years ago, just before the huge regulations hit Europe, and we really hadn't had the chance for a bigger trip before this one. Uh, this only lasting for four or five weeks is also not describing what we were hoping to do when we built the van. But we really wanted to focus on exploring and some street puppetry as well so we just couldn't make any videos even before the trip we just had to figure some stuff out and Napsh has been so very busy working on so many things they all seem to happen at the same time including writing season two of the tv show the puppet tv tv puppet show puppetry the tv show <laughs> we worked on last year as well so that's just a lot but that's coming and also a video is coming about that because i know we know that you asked to talk about the tv show season one how it came together so there's going to be a video about that that wasn't really long story short was it and even now i feel like this video is a bit forced i'm inside a bibop now so there's like really weird setup but i do think it looks good let me know what you think and also you had some questions i really wanted to talk about already so it's going to be just a short q a video because i really wanted to answer these things well there was especially one question we'll begin with that hit home with me let's let's just begin shall we trevor james asked a question two months ago so trevor i hope you are watching you seem very professional with your craft and it shows in your work. Are you familiar with the puppet Alex Barty? I am. I didn't know a Barty or Alex. I don't know them. I didn't know their name, but as everyone else on planet Earth, I think I am familiar with the puppet with the show. Something if you've seen puppetry on YouTube before, you probably met with a guitarist puppet that has moving fingers and sings and it's very funny and sometimes it plays the piano it's just beautiful and incredible i'm trying to get some feedback from other established puppet makers performers and asking them what their best guess would be about what materials and mechanisms his creator uses for the eyebrow hands fingers and stringing techniques and finger techniques from the puppet to the controller mostly i'm trying to make a similar style controller but cannot figure out how he moves and on and on and on and he talks about how he seen videos and try to figure it out this question hit home with me obviously as a somewhat uncomfortable question and I, Trevor if you are watching I don't want to hey does anybody want coffee as a puppeteer myself who got questions about his puppet before like this like so many times I can't even recall people asking for a blueprint or it happened that they asked me if they can make a very similar puppet if I can make the same puppet for them and it's just uncomfortable. I, I believe that Alex has worked on his puppet for years and his puppetry and his performance. And it's a very unique act, just like mine, just like many other puppeteers work. Truly, it's a question to be asked from Alex himself. Anyways, I understand that uh, you want to create something great as that puppet or something similar or a similar mechanism. But just uh, trying to copy something when you can't figure it out and getting best guesses from other puppeteers is somewhat disrespectful maybe. It's, n it's not a crime against humanity or anything, but I feel like it's disrespectful of the creator's work. So yes, I am uncomfortable answering this question and I made this whole video about that. 
I think you should ask him and he'd probably say something very similar. I looked up uh, Alex Barty's site. So just for everyone else to get a glimpse. Alex was born in Macedonia and has resided in Denmark since 1992. He began designing and constructing a marionette puppet in Spain at 1986. The result is Barty, a marionette puppet with an extremely complex system of string control which is constantly maintained and developed. With more than 40 very fine and mostly invisible strings, Alex enables Barty to move his body, face features, fingers and express emotions in a unique way. The first performance with the puppet Barty was in 1988. So that's already two years in the making and that's probably not the final form of party, which lets you know what huge amount of work and, and, and creative thinking and problem solving was poured into this one project. So I'm not going to read all the material on his site, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Uh, but he won several prizes with this puppet, with this puppet show he designed. So the same thing as, uh, as with my puppet or with any similarly unique puppet, I would just say try not to copy uh, a mechanism just because it seems like an amazing idea or, or a best way to accomplish the very thing you want to create. That was a long question and a long answer. I, I hope it's all right. Next question was under our first, I think our first busking video. So the video title is Adele Hello, street performer puppet plays the cello at Székesfehérvár, Hungary. Marionette busker. It's a very pretentious title, isn't it? So this curious question is amazing work which song is he playing? The next question is from Daisy Farager. Far Farager. Daisy. Uh, what kind of wire do you use for the joints? Just a galvanized steel wire you can buy in most places. Uh, my intention with showing it and 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 and, 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 and <laughs> to showcase how you can basically use anything to to create a puppet to create joints if it's not the most rubbish material. From Jaden Oden, how do you connect the hands though? <laughs> How do you connect the hands to? Um, I don't know. I need to look up the video. So it's a very simple joint called a socket joint and it's basically a socket that sometimes the hardest questions are the simplest are about the simplest things because it's hard to describe such simple things, I'm sorry. So these were all the questions I, I really wanted to talk about. I really just wanted to talk about the first question, but then that's not a Q&A in it. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll take a look at them. And I think, and also, I, I'm, I'm, I'm